and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for a brand new lab here on Legends of Runeterra. This one's called Lab of Legends. You can see in the top it says choose a champion out of these eight and challenge a gauntlet of increasingly powerful foes. Victories will earn you rewards that increase the strength of your cards and completing boss battles will refill your nexus health. Achieve total victory with a champion and earn a unique icon. Win with each champion and collect all eight icons. So this sounds this sounds really cool. Um, some other people have been saying that this looks like like uh, looks like a really fun thing. It's a one player thing. So let's give it a try. We're gonna uh, give this a try ourselves so you can kind of see what this is like. So we have these eight champions you can choose from. We're gonna just choose Aphelios, um, the card you know like just the newest champion and everything. So let's go ahead and try this. So let's see what we have. All right, so there's a, so we can select a passive power. So we have this deck right here that is two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14 cards. Uh, we have 30 Nexus Health. So what do we have? Beyond, uh, Behold the Infinite, Gifts from Beyond, Shade Stalker, Mountain Go, White Flame Protector, and the Cloven Way. Okay. Um, so I, I haven't read through this yet. So like this is going to be our first time trying it too. Um, Dragon's Rage. Common, whenever you summon a unit, Granite Fury, it's a dragon. Okay. Um, flexible game plan. Start of the game, draw an extra card. Okay, so you just get one additional card. Or whenever you summon an ally, give it Challenger this round. I honestly kind of think that that's kind of the best. Give it a, everything Challenger whenever you summon it. I'm going to take that. All right, so what is this? Whoa, this looks kind of cool. We got a couple boss battles, everything. This looks really cool. Okay, so we're gonna play against some spiders. So their power is round start creating fleeting spiderling in your hand. Yeah, this is cool. So yeah, Jan compared this to kind of like Slay the Spire, which Slay the Spire is an awesome game. You have passives and buffs and boss battles. This is really cool. Um, yeah, I mean, this is a hand, I guess. We'll keep it. I could mulligan a shade stock. I'll just keep it. I don't know. It's the cards in our deck. We only have 14 cards in our deck. We don't have very many. So there... Okay, so my health is 30. Theirs is 10. And so our health only regenerates after the boss battles. Okay. So let's invoke. Give Traveler. Play this Mother elusive. For truth. Nah, it does, doesn't need to. I don't need a challenge with it. Yeah, this this looks yeah, this this seems really cool. That egg. Did it move? The single player mode. Alright, um Yeah, let's go to the traveler. And I guess I'll just take the warrior. Keep getting more bodies. The thing the thing that I'm worried about is like not having enough cards to finish this game. Against a whole bunch of little one ones and everything. That's what I'm worried about. All right, so fearsome there, and then non fearsome, non fearsome. We of course can cast like a Felios champion spells to put more cards back into our deck. That's what I'm kind of worried about right now. All right, I'll get some moon weapons. Life steal doesn't sound bad. Overwhelm. Maybe this overwhelm. Forward. 
get me out of here. So their deck's just all 1-1s, it seems like. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's the first level, right? You know, it's just, you know, the first level of this uh, boss battle. All right, I'm going to cast this Aphelios champion spell to put an Aphelios back. We're going to grab some lifesteal while we're at it. And we get a big Furious Dragon. Oh. That is scary. Must we fight? Brothers. All right, so we'll take six. I'm glad I have the life steal. So we're gonna have life steal, overwhelm, some gems. Um, I don't know. Gravitum, Infernum. Yeah. Uh, I guess the gotta learn what these cards do. So gravity, gravity is stun. Inferno is overwhelm. Crescendo is the two drop. That is the deal damage. Okay. Wait. Okay, so I'm going to do Infernum, which is something. From darkness, light. I already forgot. These things are, are really confusing. And I don't, actually, I don't want the two drop out of my deck. I only have four cards left, so I guess we get this thing. Oh, and I'm doing this to the wrong card. I meant to do this to the 5-3. Well, too late now. I was I was too busy thinking about those things, and I forgot that this thing's a 5-3 over here. Because this is behind the camera there. Inferno. I did that to the wrong thing as far as healing my Nexus and everything. Ugh. One of these. Man, these moon weapons are annoying. Okay, what is this? Th All right, so that's the life steal. We'll go get life steal. See as I see. I am with you. I meant to do that all on the dragon. Yeah, like that one that extra damage. It could have been two extra damage, and so like that would have been lethal if I put it on the dragon. So I messed that up. Should have been lethal. Yeah, so we're gonna have to try. We're gonna have to try again to heal our nexus. We're gonna have to try to get another life steal. Heal our nexus for the next attack. You know, for for moving forward with the game. I need an overwhelm. Oh, so this is zero out of two. So okay, so once it once it levels up, it doesn't count like that. How we already played one a card that doesn't count anymore now.
I want the Overwhelm, which I think... I think I just chose the Overwhelm. Okay, cool. Yuck. I don't even know which one I chose. It doesn't matter anymore. Okay. So that's as much as we can heal our Nexus. We can heal for 9. So, alright, so we're back to 25. So we started at 30, we're back to 25. Aphelios is confusing. You have too, too many cards to choose from. Okay, so now we are going to be adding on to our deck, our 14 cards in our deck. So we have Callista, Nocturne, and Zed. I don't like Haunted Relic. So I like Nocturne more, because I, I like this Onlooker Doom Beast more. Yeah. So, out of the first two, I like Callista more than Nocturne, but I like Onlooker Doom Beast a lot more than these these and then and then uh, determining with nocturne and zed i like zed more than nocturne but death mark and shadow fiend just are not cards that i want either so we're going to take this middle one even though i think nocturne's maybe the worst of the three champions it's just uh, it has the best other cards um, so i think it's the best uh, out of all of them Okay, so we, we passed the spider test. So now we have we have 25 Nexus health. Um, so let's mulligan that. Mulligan this. We'll keep our Nightfall cards. So we've got all Nightfall. I'm just going to play this as a 2-1. To, like, you know, turn 1-2-1. One, one, attack him for... You know, get him... Yeah, like they start at 10. Of the card that gets the the two mana followers, so that would get the the two three um, elusive. Okay, so they don't have the mana to do anything else. I'm gonna play this. Keep getting this life steal and challenge here. Like if I play the if I play the Doom Beast and challenge our Doom Beast dies, but I can get like a free kill here with the Aphelios. Remember, all of our things have Challenger. The turn we play him, it's like we have a mini Grand Plaza in play. Um, I think I'm just gonna pass. that 4-4. Four, four. I don't need... <laughs> I'm kind of over, like, trying to pay attention to which, which one of those things is going to happen. I don't know. Gravity or the other thing. Inferno. I'll take Inferno. So we got lethal, and we healed our Nexus for two. 
in that round. So we started at 25, ended at 27. We'll take it. We get a champion item now after round two. Man, this is this is a really cool little one one player thing here. Um, yeah, this is really cool. This is a really cool way to get just better at the game and everything too. Just like you know, learning the cards and stuff for newer players. This is this is awesome. Okay, so select an item to add to one of your champions and get an extra copy of that champion. Okay, so we also get an extra copy of the champion. So right now we have two Aphelios, two Nocturne. So that's something that's important. So we can give them the Giant's Belt and give them plus zero, plus two. We can give them Banshee's Veil, give them Spell Shield, or Doran's Blade and give them plus one, plus one. Man, this is sweet. <laughs> yeah, this is awesome. Uh, let's see. So we can have four, four Aphelioses. So we probably want extra, I mean, I don't know, maybe we want extra Nocturnes. <laughs> Honestly. And get like, plus one, plus one Nocturnes. No, let's let's get Spell Shield, Spell Shielded Aphelioses. Let's just do that. And then select a card and add two copies to your deck. Okay, so we have two of these. Um... Two Harrowings sounds... Yeah, so there you go. So the Philios has the Spell Shield. And we got a third one. Two Harrowings? That sounds pretty spicy. Yeah, it's like it's like arcade mode. Yeah, let's go with it. Let's go with two Harrowings. That can be spicy. Alright, we got boss boss battle with Thresh. Thresh is boss battle. What's up, Patek? We're trying out this brand new Lab of Legends, and it is awesome. Ah, oh, they just get Vaults of Helia in play? So what's this power? So their power starts with, start with Vaults of Helia. When Thresh levels up, create three Shadow Isles champions in your deck. Okay, so they get three random champions in their deck if Thresh levels up. All right, uh, Mulligan, expensive cards. But still, they start. They only start at 10 life. Uh-oh. I'm not going anywhere. Is this like a Snickers commercial? Not going anywhere for a while. Grab a Snickers. Alright, so bye-bye, Soul Sh Shepherd. What do they got? Phantom Prankster. It's a good card to challenge. All of our things have challenger. Alright, gem it up. Gem it up, up, up. Ah, no oh, it's a sad Cronkler. Let's play this Behold the Infinite and see what's up. Okay, I'm not going to have another Celestial for the Supernova. Champagne Supernova. Champagne Supernova. It's an odd attack. I don't think that the AI should be making that attack. I would not endorse making that attack. So I can have... I'm going to have two lethal attackers here that we get to just open attack. Boom. Take down Thresh. Boss battle won. Let's go. Okay, so since we defeated the boss, our Nexus reheals completely. So we're back to 30 out of 30. And we get another passive power. So we got Fast Duel. Uh, round start, draw one, give it fleeting. When you discard a card, shuffle a copy of it into your deck. Okay. So that, 
so when at the end of the turn when you have fleeting cards you do discard those fleeting cards so basically like let's say we let's say like round start we draw like the cloven way and it's like turn two and we're not going to play this cloven way right so basically what happens is it will get burned at the end of the turn so what they're saying is this second part so we would discard it at the end of turn and so now instead of just discarding it we get to shuffle a copy into the deck so it's so we don't just get rid of all the cards in the deck so basically this fast deal is all it, all it really is is just round start draw a card like whenever you look at those two things it's just round start draw a card um, but if we have other discard effects, it just makes it a, those other discard effects a little bit better, how we can shuffle more copies into our deck. Um, but it's basically just round start, draw a card. All right, and then we have this thing, Dragon's Rage. Uh, common, when you summon a unit, grant it Fury, it's a dragon. So that, okay, so that works kind of well with how we already have everything has Challenger, so then we can have everything has Fury and Challenger. That's kind of cool. Higher education. Whenever you draw a card, give all of your allies plus one, plus zero this round. That's not not bad either. I think out of all these, I I think it's between. Hmm. These aren't bad. I mean, obviously they're not bad. But none of none of them like stands out as like being broken. Of like, definitely grab this. Um, I kind of think it's either like the fast deal, get an extra card every turn. Or the Dragon's Rage, give our things Fury. So it's like, draw an extra card, but you have to play that card this turn. So you don't get to keep it. We probably don't need that, honestly. Let's go with the Fury. I'm going to go Fury. Alright, select a spell, get two copies of it. I don't want Brood Awakening. I kind of want Bastion. Our Aphelios already has Spell Shield. Scorch Earth could be nice with us with us having like uh, all of our things have Challenger anyway. We can have like a small thing challenge something big and then Scorch Earth it. I'm gonna do that. We're gonna just take these Scorch Earths. Well, then early on, hmm. All right, we'll take the Scorch Earths. So the Scorch Earth won't help us win games that we're going to win anyway. It will help us like in games that we're going to be losing. Yeah, so that's what I'm going to... I'm taking the Fury because of the Challenger that we have. So we're going to have Fury and Challenger together. So now their life total is 20. So we, we got through the first boss fight. And looks like they upgraded their life total in awesome Omen Hawk. That's a great Omen Hawk. That just shuts down my Stygian Onlooker. Wait, it has Vulnerable? What's their power? Round start, give the weakest enemy vulnerable this round. Yuck. Yuck. We did have a little bunny with Fury. That was a furious bunny. Um. I'm not sure which one of these. So now this is gonna get just get vulnerable and they'll have the 4-4 with the trapper. Man, that Omen Hawk into the trapper was nice. And now it has vulnerable. That's pretty nice. That's just the wrong challenge. Challenge that with the 4-4. Reach out, 
All right, we're looking like maybe I need to actually pay attention to what these things do. So this is the deal three to a follower. And this is the plus one, plus two in lifesteal. They have no champions. That's not a good brittle steal. Alright. Mother Moon Veil. These stories were true. Ugh. Whatever the cost. Wow, Claw. Um. Okay, so. I kind of think maybe I need to kill the Alpha Wild Claw. Like, I, I can block here and, like, make a good good block. Or I can block over here and make a worse block, but then I can Scorched Earth the Wild Claw. I think that's what I have to do is Scorched Earth this Wild Claw. No, we can... we All right, so we'll just we'll just have Doom Beast challenge it and then Scorched Earth it. So, okay, so I was, I was trying to... Because I wanted to play the Cosmic Inspiration the next turn, but I guess I'm just not going to play the Cosmic Inspiration the next turn. Which, why am I playing this right now? Because now it's not going to have Challenger. As I was just talking, why did I just, why did I just do, you know, that just messed up my whole plan. Well, I assume we have a two drop in our deck. Um, I don't know what, Calibrum. Mother Okay, I assume we have a two drop in our deck. It'd be nice to challenge the O3, but I don't think I'm in a position to challenge the O3. Nightfall to stun stuff. Don't get you to stun stuff right away. We got the Furious Bunny. Hold celestial cards anymore. Well, that's not so good. All right, I, I guess I'll I'll eventually learn what all these moon cards do. I don't really feel like going through and reading it, like yo. Going through and checking every single time I play one of these these moon cards, exactly what it does. When we get the other. 
Plus one, plus two, and overwhelm. Okay, we're gonna challenge you and you, and uh, you can challenge you. All right, getting our life total back. We're at twenty-three again. Oh, right. I forgot that only costs one mana, not two. Right, my bad. Should cast the moon weapon, but we're we're good now though. We are Yeah, we we are very good. Stop. I don't know, one of these. Whichever one. Give this thing overwhelm. This is all about like healing our nexus right now. So what you can what you can do whenever you're playing this, because this is just one player mode, you know that like the other okay, so I I didn't actually have a two drop. You know that you know, like, they're not going to, um, you know, like, they're not going to concede or anything. So what you can do, especially when you have, like, things like, like this card that, that you're waiting for, like, to phase different moon weapons, you can, you can wait to, like, phase the other li life steal thing and then put it on here and not actually kill them and just, like, kill their things and, you know, just kind of wait to get the other thing. If any of that made any sense. I don't know if it did. <laughs> All right, here, you just kill this. You don't have Challenger? No, you have Challenger. All right, you kill that thing. I'm with you. Right, yeah, so you can, you can, yeah, so you can grind back to, like, full health if you choose to, instead of killing them. Especially when you're playing a card like Aphelios, that you can like wait for like the moon, the moon cycles to get to life steal. All right, we got reinforcements. What do we got? Select a card with an item and add two copies into your deck. So we can have Hush that also has a health potion attached to it. We can have a Callista that has, when I'm summoned, refi refill your mana equal to my cost. That seems like the easy thing to do is take the champion. Or we have the, pick the pickaxe on the Vanguard lookout, so we have a two mana three four. So basically, just a, a loyal badger bear that costs two mana instead of three. But well, we're, we're going to take the champion. <laughs> Select a card and an item. This. Okay, you have to click the item. All right, same thing again. Um, yeah, we'll pickaxe these Callistas. Thank you. <laughs> we'll just get, keep getting the champions. We'll see. This is a Shade Stalker with Elusive. Well, it already basically has Elusive, so that's not a very good one to grab. Behold the Infinite with the Health Potion or, or the pickaxe Callistas. Alright, so we have three Callistas now. Or they're yeah, so they're they're Callistas with two different items now. So we have, yeah, so the I so the Callistas have they have two items attached. Yeah, so the one Callista has two items attached. So when I'm summoned, it's so they're just plus two plus zero, so they're just six threes, and then also whenever I'm summoned, refill your mana equal to my cost. So they're just zero mana six three callistas. <laughs> that seems pretty good in our nightfall deck. Uh <laughs> yeah, that seems pretty good. Alright, I'm gonna look at these. Do 
Dude, this mode is a lot of fun. Yeah, this lab is so much fun. This is really cool. Alright, you got a you got a 3-1. Um no, no, I'm gonna block. You don't got a 3-1. Oh man, because it's it's about to be our attack turn, so they're gonna have they're gonna have Challenger and Fury also this turn. Wait, y'all, wait, 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 y'all, watch this. Watch this. Alright, ready? This is a turn. So we're gonna play 6-3 Callista. Oh, but this this turns into the champion spell. Oh, I was gonna do another Callista. So that's gonna do Callista into Callista into Aphelios, but that's not gonna work. We're only gonna do, just do Callista into Aphelios. Right, because the champion spell. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't know. These are all great. We'll take Lifesteal. Just gotta make sure we stay alive for other rounds. See, gotta attack with the Callista to level up the Nocturne. Wait, no, it was the. Never mind, it was the Aphelios that leveled up the Nocturne. <laughs> I was thinking Fearsome, and that was the Nightfall. Okay, so they got that thing. I'm going to play the Goat. The Furious Goat. Into the Shade Stalker. Scorched Earth. What's their power anyway? Just they just start with the Scar Grounds. That's their power. Rutro. I didn't come to fight. I came to win. Get over here. Forgive me. Trust is a weapon. Um. Mm, 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 nah. Survival through Their power has crumbled to my scorched earth. We'll take what we need to survive. The rest will burn. Time to smash. Must we fight? You have too many Callistas. So I wonder if like how this shuffles a Callista into your deck. I wonder if like the Callistas you shuffle into the deck into the deck will have like the two items attached. I would assume so. But maybe, maybe not. Yep, we're going to find out if we draw one. Um, I don't know what these cards do. Uh, this one. <laughs> I, I know I grabbed the Overwhelm one. I don't remember what the other one does. No, don't Frostbite stuff. Ugh, boo. Boo. Let the flames take you. Darkness. Um, I don't know. Uh, this one. My strength is yours. Okay, so this is gonna challenge this. This is gonna attack. This gonna attack. This gonna attack. Okay, so that is Nocturne leveling up, so none of those get to block, so they just die. Cool. With that Doom Beast coming in, being that extra Nightfall attacker that we needed for the level up, because we only had one, so now we have four. 
And GG's. Another day, another okay, we're back with some more spell reinforcements. Select a spell with an item and add two copies to your deck. Man, this game is so cool. All right, so we got uh, out of the way, uh, epic minus three cost. So just two cost for out of the way, um, which that actually sounds really cool. Cause remember we have like the, the challenger for one turn. So like that will just give everything challenger forever. The, the fury buff is forever. So like that's, so like that's like the main thing. It was, it would give everything challenger forever. Um, besides that, uh, I guess that's, that's kind of a, a boot it. Stygian Onlooker would have that plus two, plus zero, uh, and uh, everything. But besides that, and then, oh, all the moon weapons. That's true. Oh, all the moon weapons with Out of the Way. That's right. We can start life stealing everything up. All right, that sounds pretty cool. All right, so what else we got? Passage Unearned is lame, but whenever I cast draw a card, that's kind of cool. But I like the Out of the Way more. That sounds way cooler because you still draw a card, but it costs a lot. It costs two mana, and that's that's way better. So yeah, so Out of the Way for sure. All right, and then we have Give It All with what? Elixir of Sorcery. When cast, cast me again. Well, that doesn't... You don't really need to cast that twice. That doesn't actually help it. Yeah, that doesn't, that doesn't help it at all, being cast twice. So it's just regular old Give It All or two mana Out of the Way. Let's take two mana Out of the Way. Oh, some more reinforcements. Um, so we can get some more Lunari Shade Stalkers with attack equals nab one. Oh, that sounds sweet. And just attack, not deal damage. So that, I would assume so that means all the Lunari Shade Stalkers in our deck would all have that. So that's pretty sweet. All right, what do we have? We have Scorched Earth, uh, minus one cost. Okay, that's great. Two mana Scorched Earth, that's cool. And then, okay, we got a champion, Nocturne, now with Scout. Okay, so we give Nocturne Scout so we can get even more champions, and they get Nocturne with Scout. Uh, that sounds pretty sweet, too. Oh, man, I, I don't know. Like, this Shade Stalker giving all the... Because we have attacked with way more Shade Stalkers than we've attacked with Nocturnes in these games. Because um, remember, like, that Moon Weapon puts the two drop into play? So think about that too, like that moon drop, that moon weapon putting like shade stalkers into play, they would have attack nab one. That could be pretty sweet. That could be really sweet. And like, like nocturnes usually kind of die whenever they attack. Like, you know, they don't have a lot of health. I don't know. I kind of want to do the shade stalker, but obviously like getting, just getting champions. Um, I don't know. We got a lot of fours. I think I'm going to grab this shade stalker, honestly. Yeah, I love this nab. I love that. All right, we got a boss battle. I'm doing it. I'm going to nab some stuff. Nab is cool. Let's nab some things. Okay, nab nab means you you take the you you draw a card from the opponent's deck. Um, you know, like Black Market Merchant. Like, if you ever play Black Market Merchant, that's, you know, the, how it nabs one. That's, that's nab. It takes something. Alright, so we got Callista. And we mulligan the rest. Attack nab one. Only the strong survive. That's a good line, BT dubs. <laughs> Where's my out of the way? Oh, I should have played the goat. Yeah, I should have played the goat. So yeah, Callista is zero mana and a six three for me. Another They're just not playing anything? And you're saying only the strong survive? Seems like you are not surviving. Yeah. That's what they should do with Callista. Callista should really just cost 
zero and also be a six three and not a four three. That's how we get Callista some love. Like, what are they doing? What's their power? When you summon an ally, grant it plus one, plus one. So this thing gets plus one, plus one? Oh, because the Nocturne, right? The Nocturne did the minus one. Right. Isn't looking good for them. I mean, I could just attack, but they could have like some frostbite. Might as well play some challengers so that they just. Yeah. So I would have attacked, they would have frostbitten. Let fury spill from the sky. to one. Ugh. I can't do anything about that. Dude, attack nab. Attack I am in love with attack nab. <laughs> they we need to print an elusive an elusive two mana two three elusive attack nab. That seems pretty good. Attack nabs. I feel like if I put the life steal on the Callista, that they'll just frostbite the Callista. I don't care about stunning anything. I want to make stuff bigger. You're only at one out of four. The winter's claw strikes. I am with you. Okay, so let's see. So you challenge. I don't know. You. You can attack. You can attack. You can attack. I basically just want to heal my Nexus for five. Like, we're, we're going to be dealing lethal here, but I want to heal my Nexus for five. I assume it's still going to deal damage. We can heal our Nexus, right? I guess maybe I should put that first. Alright, cool. 23. All right, going to 23 for the next one, because remember, our, our life total does carry over. All right, we get a new passive. That was a boss battle. We get a new passive power. Round start, refill your spell mana. That's busted. Flexible game plan, start of the game, draw one. So just you just start with an additional card each turn. Meh. Or this thing. When you damage an enemy... Reduce its power by the damage dealt. Whoa. So if you're if you're uh two two challenges a seven seven, then instead of turning it into a seven five, you turn it into a five five. That sounds kinda cool. That's like that sounds worth more than one card. Like especially over a longer game. I think it's between sorcery and infle infleebling. That's a odd word. Enfeebling, in, enfeebling, in, enfeebling. Strike. 
Alright, sorcery or strike? Let's go with... Fill your spell mana every single turn. I'm going to go with that. I'm going to just go with every single round you just fill your spell mana. Every round. Just being able to have multiple things, that, that sounds pretty good. Okay, so now champion item. Select an item to add to one of your champions, and you get an extra copy of that champion. So right now we have three Aphelios that have Spell Shield. We have three Callistas that have these two abilities, and we have two Nocturnes chilling over here. So we're definitely not going to just take the Nocturnes and just make the Nocturnes 5-5s, five because, you know, then we get an extra copy. I think we want extra copies of these things that are already pretty um, pretty nice that have items already. So we can have the Aphelios, so look at the ne Aphelios one, because it's less words. It's just plus one, plus one, so we can just make them like four fours with spell shield. Not bad. Callista already is already 6-3 that refills the spell mana, and then also whenever I'm summoned, summon an ephemeral copy of me. Yeah, I mean, I'm just I'm just going with that, <laughs> you know, because then not only will that, that ephemeral copy will die, which will be good for Callista and everything, but then, you know, on turn three, we can get multiple of those. They're 6-3 fearsomes. <laughs> Wow, that just seems awesome. I'm taking this. Give me this. Confirm. Wait. When I'm summoned, refill your mana, and then whenever I'm summoned... Oh, yeah, so when I'm summoned, refill your mana, and then when I'm summoned, create an ephemeral copy, that that's also a summon, so it will refill your mana equal to my cost. So yes, so playing a Callista will refill six mana now, because we'll get the ephemeral copy. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that's crazy. All right, what's, so what is their starting thing? Start with the Hexcore Foundry, your cards cost one less. Alright, so all of our opponent's cards will cost one less. Oh, whenever it's summon when it says summon a copy, it doesn't say summon an exact copy. So it's just summon just like a normal copy. I guess we'll find out, yeah. Do we get to just fill our spell mana every turn? We just get three mana immediately on the first turn. I got the kids. Oh wow, zero mana death ray. Wow, so now they get to hit with the pickpocket. Whoa, zero mana death ray. Okay, well, so they were greedy and played something else first. So they don't get to hit with pickpocket. I'm drawing all these Callistas. Yeah, it it made like the thing of like sh showing this. Yeah, they're ex it's an exact copy, so yeah, it, it would have refilled it. But it has Challenger also. <laughs> Pretty awesome. <laughs> Alright, so we'll have that challenge this, because it's the ephemeral one. You're gonna need a map. Sure. Because I got some black spears. Oh man, this is good. Dude, this, this game mode is, is uh, so cool. Oh, that's a good call. Why don't I just challenge the 1-1 one, one with the others? I don't know. I wouldn't die to a Mystic Shot then. Alright, so they killed my Callista. Alright, next next turn. I'm, I'm, yeah, I want to play the Callista next turn. Take from the rich, give to me. Alright, so I got 5 mana. So I can go... I mean, we don't have the cards to play here, but this is going to be sweet. So we're going to go Mountain Goat. Sure, get your Scrap Scuttlers and your Death Rays and all, all your hip things you kids are doing these days. 
And then we're gonna play Callista and just refill all five mana. <laughs> That's, see, Callista just needs to be a 6-3 that also brings an Ephemeral 6-3 that are Challenger and Fury. Oh, we've already had something die, so I can just Black Spear this thing first. And I guess they can't actually block these because they are... Fearsome. It's just a 1-1. One, one. I don't really need to kill a 1-1. One, one. We'll do 6 damage to them. Okay, so they're transforming their 1-1 one, one into a 5-4. No, they're transforming my 5-4 five, five, into a 1-1. One, one. Do they just create these jury rigs every single turn or something? No, they just had a whole bunch of jury rigs in, in their hands. But they... No, they don't draw an extra card. Shade Stalkers! Dude, Shade Stalker is busted. 2 3 elusive attack, nab one. Let's go. Let's nab a card. Ooh, got a Mystic Shot. <laughs> oh, man. Dude, this, whoever came up with this game mode deserves a raise. This is really cool. Life steal. Gotta heal that Nexus. Yeah, we do have just infinite mana. Alright, we'll put the lifesteal on the onlooker because it's uh you know it's gonna be larger. Oh yeah, the harrowing. Yeah, that's right, we are playing harrowing. That would be the the best draw. Uh, I don't know what these things do. Let's grab this one. I remember Inferno is Overwhelmed. I remember that one. I don't remember what the other one is. We'll just get the other one, whatever the other one is. <laughs> Attack Nab. I don't even want to play the Salesman. I know, because I know it reduced their life by two, but it reduces my life by two. And considering our life total carries over, I don't even want to do that. I don't want to reduce our life by two. Okay, gravity is stun. That makes sense. Okay, yeah. Gravity weighing him down. Alright, cool. Yeah, now they get to nab. Yeah, nab your own puff caps. Jerk with your nabbing. Nab and puff caps do not work. <laughs> Don't work that well, at least. Okay, here we go. We're gonna play... Cloven Way. That's Nightfall. Uh, I guess we have infinite mana anyway. Alright, fine. We'll just play this first, even though I don't get the extra three mana. Just get some good old eight fives. See, Callista needs to be an eight five with Fury and Scout. And also cost 
Also, add three mana to your mana pool whenever you play it. Nope, not you. You. And also make another Callista as well, an ephemeral copy. Boom. Okay, we're moving on. Our deck is busted. Ah, I was hoping for Callista. I was hoping to make Callista even better. All right, I think we make this Aphelios plus two plus two. Yeah, let's give this... Yeah, definitely. So we're back with reinforcements. We didn't get another Callista reinforcement, which I was hoping for. Um, but yeah, we're gonna we're just going to probably give this to the Aphelios. Looking at these, like one cost to the Harrowing, whatever. It's eight instead of nine. That doesn't matter. Onlooker Overwhelm, that doesn't matter. Very easy pick here with the plus two, plus two. All right, we got Guard Bots, and then we got Victor, the final boss. So their round start summons a turret. Every round they get a free turret. Guard bots. <laughs> Alright, so we have 5-5 five, five spell shield of Helioses. I'm still going to mulligan one. I don't know. Maybe I don't mulligan one. Let's just keep them both. Remember, our spell mana gets gets filled every single turn. So we'll be able to just play this Behold the Infinite immediately on turn one. And let's get the deal four, deal one for sure with the turrets. That can, kill, that can uh, take down two turrets. This next turn even. Okay, so it looks like they just get the zero mana turret, then the one mana, then maybe next turn they get the two mana, and so so on and so forth. Wow. Guard bots coming through. So now they get the three mana turret, or the two mana now. Yeah, now they get the two mana one. Um, I kind of need my Callista. Okay, so I think I think I don't actually cast this meteor shower right now, right? Like I think it's it's better for me, for them to have a, a full board, so now they don't have room, so they're supposed to get a turret, but it just gets burned, right? So like I don't actually want to kill their stuff. Excuse me. Too much, but I guess they're gonna kind of kill me. Oh, we're at ten. We gotta stay alive. Maybe life steal. What else do we get? We got stun. Now we talking. Here we go. Callista's here. Okay, let's start killing some stuff. So we're gonna do four deal one to what? I guess we kill a. 2-2 two, two, and a 2-1? Or am I supposed to kill the tough thing? Whoa! Well, that's a weird ordering, so they dealt 2 to the Nexus. Alright, so Callista, let's go back up to 5 mana. Go life steal. I don't want gravity. I don't want to stun. Let's go to this thing. Because we get overwhelmed. And I don't know. 
this thing. Basically, we just want to cast the, these things. So I'll take this out instead of dealing six damage to them because they're going to have a lot of life. Um, and then I guess, yeah, I guess we just keep taking these things out, I guess. Alright, so these Harrowings, remember, Callista is a summon. It's a, Whenever I summon Callista, I put in more Callista. So even if we have, like, dead Callistas, whenever we go Harrowing, we should... Like, our whole board should just be Callistas whenever we Harrowing. Should be. What? An A4? Yeah, like, right now we'll put in two Callistas, but, like, after this Callista dies, we'll put in more. I could do that and just level up Callista. Let's see. Right. Otherwise. This may not be a bad choice, actually. Play some defense against these quick attacks. I, I kind of like it, actually. Oh, right. We have infinite mana. Because of Callista's. <laughs> uh, here, y'all y'all do some blocking. Y'all can hang out and block. <laughs> oh, this is so silly. Out of Z way. All right, now we can get our two cost follower, which can be our thing that can nab. We can go. We can go grab our nab and shade stalker. Alright, uh Severum is lifesteal. Yeah. So let's get let's get lifesteal. Okay. They're getting all these turrets. Alright, so if I do this, I just get all Callistas. I get three clusters if I do that. Three ephemeral clusters. Um, otherwise, I go well, like behold and protector. Callista puts in followers, not champion. So this, so this Callista won't attack and put in a Callista. Let's. What does this Callista put in though? Let's kind of see. Oh, it, it doesn't tell us. I think it should just be the goat, right? So it should just put in some goats. It's just basically, do I want to use this now or later? I guess might as well use it now. Who wants a taste of progress? All right, so each one of these puts in a go. Um. I'm going to attack with this, though, and nab one, so we'll only put in two goats. Lifesteal! I guess I need to give that to the non-ephemeral thing, because we've played out of the way. Dude, there's so much going on here, it's crazy. <laughs> Gosh, now those are quick attack? I guess I just attack with this thing, too. So I put in one goat. That's fine. We don't, we don't need, like, a ton of goats. Let's heal our Nexus for nine, going towards the next game, which which does mean I'm, I'm sacrificing the Shade Stalker. But I, I don't want them doing five damage to my Furious Callista. Which I guess if okay, so if, if I would have just put the, this Callista first, then this would have been the goat that would have been alongside. So they wouldn't have actually dealt any damage to this Callista. 
and then they wouldn't have been able to block my, and I could have kept the 2-1, or the 2-3. Yeah, so I, sh I could have just kept this 2-3 in play. Um, man, I don't want to take all this damage, considering our, our life... Because obviously, like, this game we're going to win, and, like, this 8 damage doesn't matter in this game. It's just I'm worried about the next game, the next boss battle, whether or not this 8 damage matters. And I guess, considering we have a lifesteal Callista here, and we'll probably have another lifesteal by the next time that we have a turn, thanks to the this thing... Aphelios. I think we're probably okay. Each journey is a discovery. Um Inferno's overwhelm. I don't think neither of those are life steal. I want life steal. I think Severum's lifesteal. Well, I'm not even playing that. That's... Get rid of my other golden sister. Yeah, lifesteal. Okay. So lifesteal... I don't know, make an overwhelm? Okay, so the the final boss victor is pretty rough. Yeah, so we're we're gonna need to heal our nexus. Pick a moon weapon. Let's pick a, a life steal. Let's get this life. Oh, let's see. So what are you? So you're in eight four. Um, four. Yeah, I guess it makes sense to play you. Get you out here. I'm basically just healing my Nexus as much as possible before this next game. I steal you. Stun this stupid little 1 1. Don't let him block with that. Alright, so 9, quick attack, kill that. 9, quick attack, 9, fearsome. Um, no, you attack, and you attack, and then you pull the 3-1, and there we go. That's a good quality attack. Get this goat back. Grab a progress day. All right, so we're back to 30. We're about to, we're back to full health. Yeah, maybe we should grab some overwhelm to go with that life steal. I got some overwhelm coming up the next turn. <laughs> so many Callistas. Uh Killing that thing. Can I protect it? No. I need to play this Overwhelm first so I'd make another Moon Weapon. So we take 8, gain 10. It's it's crazy. It's crazy how many cards we have every turn. Okay. Uh, let's play this thing.
Okay, now what? Now we will... Play this. So this thing has overwhelm? Yeah, that has overwhelm. We'll play this. Get another overwhelm. Give... I don't, I don't care. Give this thing overwhelm. <laughs> Dang. Alright, fair enough. And now we will play this thing that's a 4-1. Fearsome, Furious, Challenger. Play this thing. Okay, so you can attack, you can attack. I can make another life steal, but it just doesn't really matter. <clears throat> You're gonna challenge you. And that looks good. I just want to nab a couple of cards. I want to play these Shade Stalkers so we can nab some stuff. There is so much going on in these games. It is crazy. All right. So we, we're going to be at full health, 30 health, going into the final boss battle with Victor. So we, so I don't have to worry about... I don't have to worry about, like, light, life-stealing my Nexus up to, to full because all, I, all we got to do is worry about winning this game. All right, reinforcements. We can we can give the Stygian onlookers elusive. We can make these behold the infinites only cost one, or we can make these cloven ways give plus one plus one. I think that's the the least of the options. I think I I like one of these two here. Now every turn we refill our spell mana, so we get three free spell mana every single turn. So I think making these Behold the Infinites cost one instead of two isn't that big of a deal since we get to refill our spell mana all the time. So I actually think I kind of want to get these. I think the Elusive on the Onlooker is better. But with that being said, now we are getting two copies of this. I guess I guess two copies of these one mana Behold the Infinites. So we get like four Behold the Infinites. I think that... So I think the Onlooker Elusive is more important but whenever you're thinking, okay, which one would we rather have four copies of? Four copies of one mana Behold the Infinite whenever we're getting free spell mana every single time seems actually like pretty busted. So I'm going to actually take the Behold the Infinite because I want four copies of that. Oh, I thought, I thought we'd get an additional copy. We only get one copy? Oh, no, no, no. Why did I say back? No, continue. Okay, good. Ooh. I meant back as in just like, do that last thing. All right, so Victor. Allies have plus one, plus one for each keyword they have. OMG. Dude, Victor looks ripped. All right, final boss. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, get rid of the cloven way, get rid of this thing, and we will keep our busted Behold the Infinite and Aphelios. Flesh is a weakness we must shed. Okay, our hand's honestly not very good. I could have waited until turn three to play that to turn on the Nightfall. But I also figured that we'd find other things to do before then also. Um, I was wrong. Our hand is pretty bad. What do I do? Let's 
How can we get like a quick attack? I'm gonna take this deal three to a follower for this armed gearhead. Got the boss man. All right, what does this do? That's life steal, and this one is stun. I think I'll still take life steal. So the, the victor has vulnerable. Alright, what do we have? Alright, so stun and overwhelm. I'm gonna take the stun. From darkness, light. They said I can do whoever I want. <clears throat> Alright, we'll stun that for a couple of turns. Could challenge and kill it. And maybe that's the safer thing to do, but it will be stunned for another turn until my attack, and I can challenge it and kill it on my next attack. And get a good amount of damage in here. Or, you know, stun again. If you'd only known Meow when I was all feline. Alright, so we've cast two moon weapons so far. Through darkness, I see. That's lifesteal. This is the three damage. I think I'm gonna take the three damage. We should be good. We should be good. Our deck's busted. We didn't even have any Callistas this time. That's when you know your deck's busted. Didn't even have any Callistas. Um, oh, this stuns it twice too. Oh, I should have played this last turn. Okay, so that's that's the overwhelm, and then this is the two drop. I'll take overwhelm. All right, Aphelios leveled up. Deal three to a follower and get more overwhelm. <clears throat> Kill that thing. Join the glorious evolution. The flesh bags will bow, break maker. Alright, so my only challenger is the four one. So I guess I'm going to I don't know, y'all do something. I guess I'm going to give that the plus two, plus one in Overwhelm, just so I can kill the victor. Unleash Mew Potential! Mew Potential. Whoa! Six health tough? Pursuit of Perfection! 
shrouds the world in darkness. Eleven out of twenty. That's game. Boom. Didn't even need to Doom Beast him. And we didn't even play one of our ridiculously busted Callistas. Either. Congrats! First win with Aphelios. We get the... Um, so yeah, we got, we got one win with Aphelios now. So we get the Icon. So uh, I'm definitely going to play through this with these other ones too. And, and try to get these Icons. That's... That was a whole lot of fun. Wow, that Lab of Legends. That's really cool. Man, this this game's really cool. That's that's such a cool experience there. It's just a, you know, just a nice like one player thing. If you're somebody who like has some anxiety as far as like playing ranked games and playing against like the other players like that, uh, go through this. This was a whole lot of fun. Um yeah, really really cool. Um, it's, yeah, <laughs> Talizu says this looks epic. That's, that's a good word for it. It is epic. It's, um, you know, somebody kind of compared it to Slay the Spire before, how you're, like, uh, building up your deck and everything and getting, like, the cool powers and all that kind of stuff, and that's really exciting. I, I wish that, like, I wish this game had a better way to take, like, pictures of your deck. Like, I wish, like, right after this run we could show it off and be like, wow, look at this really cool deck that we had. Uh, and you know, then you'd be able to like share it on social media and all that kind of stuff and, and everything. I think that's something that this game could uh, focus on better to kind of show people, wow, this was really cool. But um, yeah, this yeah, so this is something that I I really recommend. You don't have to. That's you know, you can just start an account, play play this game for the first time, play the same decks that we were doing. You don't have to like have all these cards and all this kind of stuff. This is you know free to play awesome lab here this lab of legends and you can get you know like you know start you know go through all eight of them you know and and get wins with all eight that's just really this is just a really cool game mode and everything um yeah this is uh this is this is awesome all right so those y'all watching later on youtube hopefully y'all really enjoyed this game mode as well uh, watching it here and if you've been playing it let me know how it's going how do you like all these different champions the different decks the different powers all that kind of stuff hopefully y'all are enjoying this too because this definitely put a smile on my face it, it felt like you know playing the uh game for the first time or you know like playing a new game like that that was really cool tali says i'm definitely starting with lulu yeah lulu's cool yeah that, that was awesome all right, but there we go. So that's the Lab of Legends. That was with Aphelios here. Um, yeah, hit that like button over there. Leave those comments. Let me know. Let me know how, how you liked it and all that kind of stuff. I love seeing those comments. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. I can't really say that enough. I really, really appreciate y'all watching. And, and uh, yeah, I really can't say thank you enough. Um, but that's it here for the Lab of Legends. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.